Now, some customers might ask about durability. Durability is an issue because they think, well, it's foam and it's wood chips and it's all glued together and, and gee, if it gets wet, it's going to be a problem. How can I deal with this? Well, durability is really a function of the fact that everything wears out. Everything wears out. What destroys buildings? The, the vast majority of buildings that we see are destroyed by water. Water eventually gets in, tears them up, and causes problems. There's other things that can break down buildings and cause them to fall into disrepair and they get torn down or they're not usable anymore, but the number one thing is water. And it's the proper detailing, the detailing that we talked about in finished systems. It's working with building science and understanding how to control the moisture, whether it be moisture from inside or moisture from the outside, that we need to control and allow that system to dry out. It is, misunder it is a misunderstanding to think that just because a SIP system is energy efficient, that if it gets wet, it's going to be damaged. What you should be thinking about is that as soon as you design and build a super energy efficient structure of any material, and you increase the amount of insulation, and you increase the air tightness of that structure, what you have done is by design, you have decreased the potential for drying. When you decrease the potential for drying of that system or that structure, it means you, the builder, must pay more attention to the finishing details and the building science around that building's ability to dry out because of that reduced potential for drying. This isn't really a function of SIPs, it's a function of where we as an industry, a building industry, are headed. We're headed towards building more energy efficient um, buildings that use less energy. It's a requirement of the code, it's a requirement of uh, people who buy the homes, that they want homes that are more energy efficient. They want them to be more comfortable. They have to be more airtight. Therefore, all homes are moving towards that area where they become have a lower capacity to dry. The SIP is no different. You need to detail and design for it. So I think it's a misnomer to think that your durability is going to disappear as soon as you start building with a structural insulated panel. Using the building science that we know about, using good detailing, and always remembering to let this system dry out, we've addressed the durability issues because if the system doesn't get wet, it doesn't deteriorate, we've got a durable system. It's important that you remember in all aspects that it's the super insulation, the tightness of the structure that is really the issue that we need to address. And that's a function regardless of whatever type of system you're building with.